Hey guys, and welcome back to the Button Press. I am your host, Sasha. Today, today, we are going to start part two of Ultima 7, including the Silver Seed expansion pack that happens to be mentioned in the title over here. Let us click it and uh, hope that the introduction just sort of leads me. There it is. Lord British's castle, 18 months. After the destruction of the Black Gate and the dismantling of the Fellowship. Clearly they got more budget this time. Eve. All we found among Batlin's belongings was this enchanted scroll and a map showing the way to a place called the Serpent Isle. Indeed. Put it on the table. Stand back! Batlin! In the unlikely event that the Avatar stops me from coming through the Black Gate, I command you to follow the unwitting female human Gweno to the Serpent Isle. There I shall outline my plan to destroy Britannia. Uh -huh. It is my worst fear. I must send the Avatar through the pillars to the Serpent Isle. Is that actually Mr. British? Mr. Richard Garriott speaking? Because, uh, that's definitely not the kind of voice I expected Lord British to have. <laughs> Title card! Ultima 7 Part 2. Oh yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, join me on this fantastic voyage to Part 2 of Ultima 7. Which, by rights, should probably be friggin' like... I don't know, this should actually be number 8, and 8 should be 9, and 9 should be 10, whatever. Okay! Muffin top? And I'm gonna hit you? Oh, God. I can <laughs> I can actually choose my race! I can choose kind of what I look like. This guy just looks silly. This guy kind of looks silly. This guy kind of looks the least silly. Honestly? Yeah, I think I might have to go with this guy. He seems the most... What is that to say? The most realistic. I don't know. This is the whitest. This is the medium white. This is the black. Okay, I'm gonna go with medium. Let's go with Journey Onward. Uh... Whoa! So, hey, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been following along through this series, this long series, and you've watched the Ultima 7 Part 1 series, you might have been familiar with old portraits. <laughs> a couple of things have changed between part one and part two. Part two has way nicer portraits for their people. This is what Iolo might actually look like. Uh, he's an old man, he's a bard, that's great, that's intended, but now at least you can tell. Before, he was just an old guy, he could have been a bum somewhere. <laughs> <clears throat> what was the voice that I had for this guy? It was a face of passage, Muffin Top. After we have sailed between the, the serpent pillars, I could have sworn that we were flying. And yet here we are on the ship. I wonder if we had lost anything. Uh, and I'm assuming this is Dupre, also a good close friend. Oh yeah, so there's me, the avatar of Muffin Top. This is Iolo over here. Uh, this is Dupre. He is currently wielding a mage bane. And this is Shamino or Shamino. I've never known for sure how to pronounce his name properly, but that's not important because it's all text. I could say it however I want. Dupre says, We may be on the ship, but the ship is on dry land. I think that that was correct, Iolo. We did fly. Brr! <laughs> Did thou notice the chill in the air? It's much colder here than at home. I hope Gweno brought enough warm clothing. Oh, yes. Gweno is this guy's wife. You, I barely know this. You don't need to know this, really. Do not worry, so old friend. 
We shall find thy wife soon enough, Mrs. Shamino. And that fiend, Batlin, I hope. Look, Muffin Top, a, muff a strange storm is nearly upon us. This is certainly not Britannia. Where are we? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is part two of Ultima. And let me begin by telling you a couple of things. For one, this is going to be clear. I'm going to be following a walkthrough. Because this is, this game, okay, l listen, listen, listen. This is from 1982, 93, okay? <laughs> this game is out to get me. This game wants me to spend as much time as I can, as it can make me spend, uh, so that it makes it, you know, makes the game feel better. So that it can market, saying that it, it can market in the fashion that says I spent fucking a hundred hours on this game and makes it sound great. But in, but this was valuable in 1992 or 93, I forget what year this exact expansion came out. It's not so valuable in 2017. So I'm gonna be following a walkthrough to save time because there's gonna be so much world to explore, okay? Friggin' wow, okay? Like, you don't get it. <laughs> All right? A couple of things have changed between the old game and the new. Number one, I already have the black sword. This assumes that I've already beaten the expansion pack in part one, but I have it anyway, just in case. Okay. I got Rudium's wand anyway. Uh, what is this? The Black Rock Order Serpent? I friggin' don't know what that is. Here's a letter. Dear, what? Okay, no, let me skip this whole thing and read. Dear Muffin Top, all of the portents indicate that this quest to find Batlin shall severely tax thine abilities. Consequently, I have ordered the armories of the kingdom opened in order to equip thee and thy good companions. Thou shalt be given these things. The glass sword, which can slay any foe, but which is destroyed in the act of such slaughter. The Mage Bane, a fabled weapon which thou didst recover in thy previous encounter with Batlin. It steals the magic from sorcerers who oppose thee. The Demon Sword which thou didst obtain at the Forge of Virtue. It is truly a terrible weapon, but thou wilt surely need it. Beware the demon within. Rudium's wand, which doth make black rock explode. The strange serpent of black rock, which thou didst obtain from the nether worlds during thy most recent adventures. Oh, really? Did I? Really? Its powers are unknown, but those who gave it thee promised that it would be useful to thee soon. A spell book, which hath been added to which hath been added every spell that could be speedily obtained for thee to wear a set of armor of the best enchantments, all of these, for Iolo the bard a crossbow for which he which he doth wield so well. For Noble Dupre, a magic shield, for Shamino the Ranger, a magic bow, and a decent supply of burst arrows, which he shall no doubt use to good purpose as well as such common items as torches, a pair of swamp boots, <laughs> a good dagger, and much food for an extended journey. Travel in safety, and may the villain Batlin soon fall to thine hands. Also, I hope that thou shalt soon find Iolo's lost wife, the good woman Gweno. Lord British, your king! <laughs> what a great guy! <laughs> Your liege. Holy Jesus. Yeah, I have a glass sword. All right. <sighs> okay. So, I've already got number one out of the way. We're going to cheat so with a walkthrough. Number two, we're going to cheat with this too, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see. God mode is G and wizard mode is U. Okay. Uh, and X. Thank you. And I don't know what the magic is like in this game. I got create food, cures, uh-huh. Create ignite, locate. So, 
Um, before we get too deep in, I mean, we're just beginning this game, really. Um, I, I have to let you know that I am not familiar with this game to nearly the degree I was familiar with the previous game, Ultima 7, Part 1. I barely will know what I have to do just about anywhere. So, this game is going to carry on in exactly the same way as the previous game, except for in one respect that I'll get to. Um, we're just going to go through, I'm going to follow a walkthrough, and I'm going to do all the voices, and we're going to steal from people, and it's going to be fabulous. The way that I had mentioned before, just a, a sec ago, about how everything's going to be the same, this time, all right, I think I'm going to do things in 20-minute episodes instead of hour-long episodes. I think this is going to be a lot more palatable to the standard person. <laughs> you know, hour-long episodes is great if you're already a very close follower of the button press, and if you are, thank you very much. But on the assumption that you aren't, a 20-minute episode is plenty. So I'm going to go on that basis, and we're just going to move forward uh, in 20-minute bursts. But I'm going to record at about the same rate, so everything is still going to be A-OK. -okay. I might record uh, and release at something like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If I can manage it, I cannot guarantee a thing. Okay, I'm saying that right now. No guarantees, basically ever. But anyway, well, I'm going to I'm gonna see what I can do. You know, seriously. There's a bunch of spells here that I'm not familiar with at all. Deter? Create soul prism? Soul prism? What the fuck? Is that like a horcrux? Unlock magic. Okay, wow, geez. All right. Well, anyway... The one thing that I do definitely remember about this game is that a whole lot of this isn't going to matter. <laughs> Perfect timing. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me, Do I... Where are my friends? Yeah, everybody's gone. Shit, I'm barely here. So, I got all of... The, there. Okay, so, if I understand this right, okay, there is a weird teleportation storm going on. We are now definitely in Serpent Isle, or the Serpent Isles? I forget. And <laughs> all of my shit has been changed, okay? I no longer have the black sword like I used to. I now have a pumas. I have this... That's fine. Great. I have some filari. I have some wine. Um, some stockings. Some other stuff. And that's all fine. That's wonderful. You know what? It's great. Um, fur boots? Do I need to pick this up? I'm going to pick up some fur boots just in case. And... Oh! Eh... Even as was foretold, I have traveled a great distance to meet with thee. Thy name, or my name, is Foxa. But wait, I proceed too quickly. Perhaps thou art not the promised hero. I must test thee, lest I give mine assistance in error. How many? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Another reason for me to check a friggin' walkthrough. I had luckily I have my phones on my person right now. Uh, let okay, I have the answers. This is great. Okay, so if you have the answers or if you have the questions, if you're following along, if you get these questions too, you can follow along and uh, you'd be in good shape. How many words of power are there? Words of power, the answer is 27. Let's see, that's a 27 there. Okay. How many clans divide the city of Monitor? These are answers that would probably be in um in an instruction booklet, but I don't have such a thing. Because I think I think I got to this game 
way, 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 way later. And I may not have legally acquired it at the time. I mean, this is legal now, but <laughs> okay, it's, uh, I'm a terrible person. I I don't recall ever owning this game prior to this. I just haven't taken the time to either print out or really look at the instruction booklet as I have it from a GOG.com. How many clans divide the city of modern earth? Let me see. I think that's three. Yeah, it is three. All right. Way to go, Sasha. Remembering shit. Uh, let me... Uh, uh, there. In what circle of magic does the create automata spell appear? Oh, God. Uh, create automata is number six. Okay. Let me just click ad nauseum here. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to spill all the beans right here. I've decided if you here are about to begin the game and you have these questions, let me tell you what the answers are. Okay, question one. How many spells in the ninth circle? There are eight. How many different armor materials? There are four. How many beasts are there in Erstam's book? There are 52. Types of reagents? There are 11. Reagents for mass death? There are six. How many times do you have to boil ginseng until it becomes a legit reagent? 40. How many? Well, like what circle to uh, create automata? That's six. Okay. How many? Wait. Reasons for Erstam's history? I haven't seen that question. I guess you'll understand the context if you get the question. There is one. Characters in Ophidian writing. How many letters are there? There are 36. People from how many cities? Hopefully that... Oh, I'm reading this from a walkthrough. Legit. How many people from many cities? Four. How many cities are established? Three. How many forces in balance? There are six. Clans in monitor? There are three. We already answered that one. How many types of weapons? There are four. How many words of power? There are 27. And how many letters in a woman's name? Six. Hopefully that all makes sense to you. If you have to refer to this for a walkthrough, please do. And hopefully this will be useful to you. Thou art truly the one I seek. Here is the hourglass of fate. Keep it with thee always, and through it the monks of Zenka can aid thee. Wow, hey, okay, so we're having a conversation now all of a sudden, huh? Tell me about this foretold. I am a Zenkan monk, my son. As such, I've devoted my life to studying the prophecies of Zenka. The writings are clear. The hero shall come in the last days with three companions to battle against the evil which is in the land. Further, the hero shall be given guidance from a power that dwells in the void. Whew, man, okay. Uh, promised hero, is that really me? The land is in dire need of a hero, for the end of the world draws nigh. There are storms which lash out with magical lightnings, and strange illnesses which plague the innocent. Plague the innocent, but not the evil folk? Is it time for me to become evil so that I don't get sick? Lastly, there is a growing sense that something is wrong in the land. Just a general malaise just on everybody. Is that right? It's kind of shitty. Uh, my time with thee is short, so take careful heed of mine advice. There is a cave for the south by a large red bush. Its entrance is invisible. If you can find thy way in, it may provide more clues. Follow the coast until thou dost come to a great city. The name of the city is Monitor. An old friend of thine awaits thee there. All right, great. Hourglass. As soon as the hourglass of fate is with thee, if thou art killed, thou shalt be resurrected on Monk Isle. And if one of thy companions is killed, you can summon one of us to resurrect him or her by use of the hourglass. The monk shall come soon, when thou art in a safe place without strangers or distractions. Got it. 
companions. The writings of Zenka speak of the three which shall travel with thee. Rhyming. Nice. Without them thou canst not succeed. They shall be thine oldest and most trusted friends, and it is their part to share thine adventure with thee. Thou must find them, hero, Mr. Muffintop, and then never let them leave thy side. What power's going on? The, <clears throat> the writings are vague on this point, so that it is not certain whether the power lives in the void now or merely came from that place. However, I know that thou shalt need to seek out three artifacts, a ring, an art a necklace, and an earring. Three things. Through these ancient items, the, <clears throat> the power shall communicate with thee. More than this, I know not. Oh, well, that's kind of too bad. Storms. The storms are one of the signs that the end of the world is at hand. I know not what causes them or how they may be stopped. Most ships have ceased to sail, for the storms strike any vessel which leaves harbor. The lightning doth have the power to kill or to teleport, and sometimes it changes the nature of that which it strikes. That's kind of funny. Uh, illnesses. The prophecies mention that a plague will come among us to sicken the meek and the innocent, but not the evil. Like I said before, it's time to be a jerk. Hast thou noticed of the dying birds? No, I've been here 20 minutes. They are only the first victims. At first, the disease shall strike the wildest races, and lastly, the race of men. Uh, wrong. I cannot explain further. Dost thou not feel it? The sense that something is not right. Zenka speaks of these days as the time of imbalance. Um. Okay, bye. I must go now, before those who oppose me find that I have been here. Fair Whoa. Uh, there's a thing between you two, huh? Thou shouldst know better than to meddle in the affairs of fate, Foxa. By merely talking with the hero, thou mayest be condemning us. We must intervene, Karnax, goddammit. We've been through this. The very fabric that weaves the tapestry of the cosmos may depend on it. Seriously, dude, didn't you read the email? Thou art as foolish as ever, girl. Zenka's writings are crystal clear. Two hyphens. Those who seek to aid the hero shall cause the greatest calamities. I must stop thee before thou dost send us all to our doom. Um, this fire ring shall save thee from being destroyed during this battle, hero. Neither of us means thee harm, but errors can occur in the heat of combat. Remain within the ring. Yeah, okay, sure. All right, I can follow orders. Jesus. I'm not so easily defeated, friend monk. Whoa. Hero, listen to me before the fires consume me. Beware of thy friends. They shall only bring destruction upon thee. This guy must be evil. <laughs> Wow. Karnax is defeated for the moment. I am weak and must leave. Remember to seek out the three companions. They must be at thy side. And watch for the ring, necklace and earring. For by these the power shall guide thee. So, okay, so she's kind of at the end of a fight and all that. She's kind of weak, but she's going to just gonna talk my ear off. Seek out thy black sword with the caged demon that thou dost bring with thee from the other land. Thou must have it to complete thy quest. And I'm out. Wow, man. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Uh, before we get into what Shamino here has to say, we're going to say thank you for joining me in this first episode of part two of Ultima 7. Join me in the next episode, and we're going to continue this conversation with Shamino, and we're hopefully going to find out way more about what the hell is going on on Serpent Isle. Do take care, and see you in the next one, folks.